endorsing Terminator, but there is a story from Terminator that I want to kind of put before you so that you can change the way you see yourself. It is the story of Sarah Connor. She is a moped riding waitress. And every single day she goes to work and she waits on tables. And then every single night she goes home, sits by the phone and waits, hoping that one of these blind dates are going to work out for her. That is until Arnold Schwarzenegger, the former governor of California, and Maria Shriver's ex-husband comes back from the future. And he has one goal in mind, and that is to assassinate everyone with the name Sarah Connor. And it doesn't look like he is going to fail because he has in his possession the height of 80s data, which is a page, this is actually a tissue, this is a page torn out of the yellow book, and he is crossing them off one by one. When Sarah realizes she might be at risk, she did what a lot of us did in the 80s, she goes out to a bar. She's gonna hide in a crowd, but Arnold is relentless and he finds her there. He shows up, he begins shooting people. There's bodies and screaming and bad dancing. And in the middle of all of this mayhem, at the same time as her protector, I mean, the assassin from her future, the same time as their assassin from the future shows up, her protector from the future shows up. And he grabs a hold of Sarah. And he says, if you want to live, come with me. Sarah looks at the dead bodies. She's like, I think I want to live. So she leaves with this complete stranger. They go in the car. There's bullets. There's ma'am. There's, you know, chaos. And in the midst of all of this confusion, her protector from the future is trying to tell Sarah who she is. He said, in the future, you're a hero. In the future, we fight with the strategies you wrote down for us. In the future, your son is our general. She's like, stop right there. This is a horrible case of mistaken identity. I do not even have a boyfriend, let alone a son. But he continues to tell her who she is until she has a meltdown. And if you could see her hair, you would understand <laughs> why. <laughs> you guys have seen the movie. Anyway, she yells, but I haven't done anything. And he looks at her, he says, no, but you will. And it was in that moment that I realized that the enemy of our souls knows who we are long before we wake up and realize who we are. And I need you to hear me on this. The attacks on your life up to this moment have much more to do with who you might be in the future than who you have been in the past.